Hello and welcome back to the Eddie Inn Project. I know we skipped a week, but things have happened. And uh, after 19 years, I'm saying ta to my old monitors. It's sad, isn't it, Ed? Well, it's sad. It is, uh... But in saying that as well, you've been away for nearly been a Been away week. as well, yeah. So and yeah. That, that didn't help to put in the video on No, I didn't, no. So, um, you're going to see me react today. Um, we're going to do an unboxing video. We're going to show you how to ping these, um, your room out with a, with a Genlec um, SAM system. And then you're going to get my my genuine reaction, aren't we, Ed? Well, a first, a first listening a first, experience. Yeah. And we're not, we're not paid to do this, are we, Ed? We're not, no, no, it's no. not sponsored in any way. No, it's not. And I must, I must let you guys know... Let them know, Ed. ...that I've, I've hidden the open, open uh, cutthroat razors, because if it doesn't work out as he's expecting it to, I know what he's like, so I've hidden all the razors. Any, any suicidal weaponry has been hidden. Mm. So, <laughs> keep watching for my reaction at the end of the video and see whether I've hooked up a noose. Because yeah. this thing weren't cheap. No, it was a lot of money. It was a lot of money. Keep watching, guys. Yeah, indeed. Right then, Ed. It's like Christmas Day here. What we got first? Right, sorry for, uh, you, uh, periodically you'll see my head disappearing, guys, yeah. but sorry about that. We're not going to alter the framing of the video for this no. unboxing. Anyway, here we are. First box we're going to open is this little box, and this is our Genelec loudspeaker management kit. Mm. Okay? Mm. So let's open them up and have a look see what this comes with. So firstly, we have the, the little uh, management box, and uh, we have a... A map on the back of all your inputs and outputs, how it's plugged in, mm, yeah. plugged in, etc., etc., which the connections are, and we have the ports on the back mm. here, where for whatever you have is plugging in, plugging in. Um, we have this thing here now. Let's get this bit out here. Is there a power supply in there? Eh? Well, actually, there isn't a power supply. Oh no! I think it's USB powered by the looks of it. But let's see. So what we have here is your you have your reference mic. It comes with its own reference mic, and it appears to be. I haven't unravelled it yet, but it appears to be quite a substantial length of cable. Oh God, yeah. So if you've got a big studio, whatever, you shouldn't run out of, you know, for, for doing the calibration. That's just, so we have that, and we have a little uh, clip here for plugging them in. Marvelous, Ed. Marvelous. And yeah. the last thing in the box yet yeah, is a USB cable here, and we have a USB a USB A to the professional grade USB B cable. Um, and that's and so this is I think is what, what you power mm. you, you put your power, power on the bus from the Bloody marvellous. Yeah it is fucking marvellous. Get the next box up Ed so, again what did you do? They throw it they yeah. just throw it away. But don't throw them away guys. Don't throw them don't away throw, no. It's just about empty boxes we throw. This is uh <laughs> this is one of the satellites. Mm. Um now we're calling them satellites because we've got a base bin. Yeah so yeah. now we're going up from his old Genelec system, which was a just a stereo two-way system. Mm -hmm. He's now going up to a stereo four-way system. Mm. Should be a big improvement. Mm. Um, so, as we say, we're only going to unbox one of the satellites because they're both the same. Mm -hmm. now, anyway, we have this open. Oh, look at this, guys. There's something in the top here. Oh, actually, it's not. It's, it's another box. It's another box. So what I'm going to have to do is turn this upside down by the looks of it. Turn it this. upside down, Ed. Right, be, got to be very careful because they're very expensive these things mm -hmm. and they are quite heavy actually so let's have a look right so here we go you can hear the how tight that is by it you the, can the, yeah the slippy noise the slippy noise yeah again what do we do with this we're just yeah, chucking it away it down there yeah so there you are guys so we now have we now have uh, uh the interior box this looks quite a bit of, look, generally on the front, etc, etc. This is marvellous, So again, yeah. we'll have this uh, knife and we'll cut away from us, cut this top section to release that tape, and I'll put this aside. Mm. Now, this is a strange box because it opens, you slide the back this way, oh, and then we out come from the back, out comes your smart active monitor, 
uh, operating manual. And then we have this uh, Genlec uh, brochure uh, in, inside, which is uh, quite colourful, etc, etc. And this is the range of the Genlec, which you've obviously saw probably on the site. In fact, a lot of you guys, especially if you're in other countries, you might not appreciate the no. stupid British humour. No, you won't, no. <laughs> Anyway, it's well packed, isn't it? Ed? It's Look at very this. Well it's it's uh, got this like presentable box, is not it? Yeah, presentation yeah. box. And then we have a a little uh, generally thank you card inside, and you have have it written in Finnish. I assume that's Finnish. And then mm. open up from the back, and we have it in English. And it's uh, at the cottage window, so you can read that for yourself, guys. You can, yeah. Funny little thing. Then, oh, at the top in in this, the packing here. Ah, we have batteries. A, Batteries. Is it? Yeah, well, it could be batteries. Yeah, it could be, so, yeah. so it makes it portable. Makes it portable, yeah. So let's have a look and see what we have in here, guys, in this little box. So if we... Oh, this is, your, this is all your cables now. So it comes with uh, the a obligatory, ob 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 obligatory mains cable, mm. um, which is on a, ke a kettle lead, a standard kettle lead, mm. and it is pre-fitted for the country you buy it from. In our case, it's a three-pin, 13-amp mm, British stock. It is, so, yeah. yeah. So we have that. And then we have this Ethernet cable, which is for connecting to your GLM Xbox I showed you the controller, and then looping from speaker to speaker to speaker. Speaker to speaker, speaker yeah. So that's what we have there, guys. Yeah. So another box. Yeah, we've got another box, yeah. Oh, even polystyrene oh, as well. Oh, polystyrene, yeah. Now, this is, we're getting to the gubbins now. You may, you may have Holding to hold that, that, Ed, yeah. Right, you know, oh, look at that. Look at that marvellous right. thing, now, can yeah. You, can you, uh, maybe, Maybe you want to do a throw away with that thing as well. Throw though. away, yeah. yeah I'm running out of space out here. Well, Ed, yeah, yeah. I, need the, yeah. I need the space. Uh, space, really yeah. Showing the guys. Excuse here. me about all this, yeah. Yeah, you know, yeah. There's, a door, there's a door keeps getting in the way, you know. I mean, oh, all I can see with these boxes is thank God he didn't go for a 7.1 surround. Oh no, yeah. <laughs> or, a, or an atm Atmos, atmos yeah. Inver 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 uh, immersion yeah, immersion system. Immersion setup, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I must be boxes by now. We would, yeah. Anyway, what we have here, guys, is this uh, one that's satellite. So, turn them upside down. We'll, again, we'll have to get the sharp knife. Sharp knife, yeah. <laughs> I'm saying that jokingly, guys. Again, cutting away from yourself. Mm. And then we can uh, release the Kraken, which is... Uh, actually, incidentally, guys, what we have here is a pair of... These are the 8341As. Mm. So there you have them. They're full range, aren't they, Ed? Oh, yeah. There's a, there, it's a three bay system. Mm. Um, it has these slots that you see top and bottom are the ports, actually, for the for the base end. The base, yeah. And apparently, it has two three, three and a half inch by six inch base drivers mm. in them, two of them. And then we have this, uh, this one in the middle, that's your mid range. Mm. And it's a yeah, what do they call it? A Joe concentric. That's right. Yeah. Uh, so you get the mid range, the bigger speaker here, and then the smaller one, the circle in the middle. That, that's your tweeter. So that's your three way oh, of this. Mm. And um, yeah, uh, so it, yeah, there's a pair of these. Um, very well made. I like all the same as the other one. Mm. You know, actually, you're, the ones you're replacing. Yeah. You know, same metal. There. Uh, case. They look so, the same apart from oh, the front, don't they? Yeah. All sparkly, and and then we have all your controls at the back here. You know, we have. If I can show you guys, we have uh, this this one here where my finger is. That's your analog mm -hmm. input for XLR, and then this one is another XLR. But that's your AES for your digital mm -hmm. input XLR, and the one uh, between them is your output. Output, yeah. I think well, it is, a, it is an output, isn't it? No, it's a well, it's a digital through. Sorry, and that's a an AES as well. Digital through, mm. digital input, digital through, and the, the one at the extreme end hard. is your analog input. Mm. And then you have a pair of Ethernets. They're unmarked, apart from saying the GLM network. We're so, a pair of e Ethernuts. Uh, yeah. Ethernet, yeah, pair of, yeah, Ethernuts, yeah. So you got a pair of those, and it's not marked one or two or whatever. So mm. I take it, it doesn't matter which one no. you put them into. And so I think that's about it. And then you have it a is, selection yeah. of dip switches here, which... Uh, you can set um, for certain 
situations in your own room if you're only using a pair of these. That's it. But yeah. if you're using them with the uh, the sub, mm. that controller then takes care of all takes that. Care you of leave, all that. Yeah. You leave all the dips as they it are. Does, yeah. So basically, that's uh, that's your little um, mm. satellite, guys. And there's two of these. Bloody marvellous. As I say, we've only only shown you one today. So mm. there we have it. Here we are, Ed, with yeah. the last box. Well, here it is. This is a big one, actually. So, oh, there we go, guys. Are you managing it, Ed? Yeah, yeah. Really yeah. Marvelous, Ed. Yeah. yeah. It's a bit of a lump. So this one here is uh, obviously it's going to be with sub. So let's uh, open him. And again, open it carefully, guys. Um, away from away you. From yeah. You. Actually, this one is a bit different because he is big heavy-duty staples on this one. Here we go then, Ed. Right, well packed here. Well packed. Look at this. Yeah. Oh, that's, that, that's really Toblerone, nice. isn't it? Yeah, Tol yeah Toblerone. Yeah. I, think, yeah. I thought it was Finland. They were made in Finland. Mm. Toblerone's made in Switzerland. This so is, yeah. Maybe uh, we've got the Swiss version. Oh, another box, Ed. Oh, oh yeah, there's oh, a, there, no. is a, there is another box. So I'm going to have to turn this upside down. Turn it upside down then, Ed, yeah. And it's just marvellous. <laughs> This is marvellous, guys. We're, we're getting on really, really well here. We are, aren't we? Yeah. No. Yeah. I don't There's know no room the... left in the house. No. But, I mean, uh, are you ready then, Ed? Well, I don't know which is the up way and the down way. No. Again, we'll go back to this uh, sharp knife. Sharp knife, Ed, yeah. Cut away from you. I must have guessed right. We've got the top here. So, again, we have the same thank you card. In thank fin you, in yeah. Finnish in English. Finnish in English. Then we have the... There, yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> We've got, a little, yeah. we've got a little hobbit down in the corner there. Yeah. He's sweeping up. He's bagging stuff up as we, yeah, as we yeah. throw it. This is your manual for the... Um, it's The base bin that we've got is the, the 7350. 7350. So 7350A yeah. operating uh, manual. Yeah, bloody marvellous. And then again, and all these manuals actually come with hooking up instructions. I don't think they can see that, Ed, uh, going up there, but it doesn't matter. No, but They'll see it when you, you unwrap it, won't they? Yeah. It's, all... it's a good episode, this, well, this isn't is it? Yeah, Here episode, we have yeah. another Ethernet, what's Ethernet it's, yeah. cable that comes with uh, the bin, <sighs> or the oh, sub, if you like. The sub, yeah. Now, tip it upside down. I'm going to tip it upside down, yeah. but... Uh, that looks... Now, there's another box going to the Hobbit. Another box for the Hobbit, yeah. <laughs> uh, it's bigger than what I thought it'd it be, is, Ed. It's, it's a bit is it bigger than what you thought it'd be, Ed? No, it's probably about the same about size. about the same size as what oh, you I'll thought you what, it would be. I'll tell you what it is. Mm. It's heavier than I thought it was going yeah. to be. It's all metal. It's not a wooden... It's not a wooden... It's not a wooden uh, cabinet, so it's metal. It's the same. I mean, it's, it's made the same by... It looks as if it's made of the same stuff as the smaller... As the speakers, sample, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, well, I wouldn't say little, actually. I would say quite big. Anyway, that's it, guys. Oh, do you like that new smell, Ed? Have you sniffed it? I can, I can, yeah. well, you can smell it. Can yeah. So there you are, guys. This is this one. Uh, this is your front. And, uh, yeah. There's an awful nice. lot of sockets on the back here, there Ed. There is. I'm going to show you them aside first. There's a couple of bars here I'll show you. There you go, guys. Two bars here, and these are obviously for holding the plates together mm. um, at the top, but they're great for handles for lifting. They are, aren't they? And yeah. then you have this circular dome, which is the, the, obviously the tube. The, uh, what do they call it? That's the uh, tuned. Um, it's a metal tube, isn't it? Yeah, inside? it's all metal. Yeah. And this is the, yeah. all metal. And this is uh, this is obviously a it's a a tube uh, that's tuned for the bit the bottom end frequencies. Mm. So you have that. Bloody marvellous. And then... Yeah. So what we have on the side, guys, I'm just going to talk you through it, if I can turn this slightly, there's a, a, a plur, plur, plurifery of Plur stuff here. Yeah, so is. we have the on-off switch. Again, your uh, kettle lead, the, you know, normal power input. Um, there's a little light here which is like creamed at the moment, so I imagine he'll go green or something creamed, when he's on. Yeah. Right, then we have, what, again on this, we have a, a pair of controller network, your G, GLM network cables. Again, they're not, they're not numbered, so not I don't numbered, suppose no. it matters which way they go. No. And then from this side, we have uh, input one. This is, on, it says test, test out one. So it's input one and output one. Mm. And then you have input two, output two, input and then below two, that yeah. it says test out two. 
Mm. And then above, you've got input one, input three, input four, four input output four, input five, output um, five. Mm. Um, and I imagine, I imagine that the, that's for five different satellites. Do, in yeah. One. In and outs for them. Mm. That's what I'm imagining. Mm. In our case, we'll only use the first two. In and out one, two. and in and out two. Yeah. Um, and then, after the outputs, you've got this... Uh, I don't know what actually what this is. We haven't looked at this yet, but it's, 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 it's an LFE in. So whether that's some sort of a digital in. Mm. That's what it says. Anyway, that's what we have on the back here, guys. Uh, Very so there nice, you go, guys. Yeah. Yeah. That's the unboxing of our... Uh, of our new system. Of our new system. But stay tuned because Ed's going to show you how to set it all up and ping your room with this system. Marvellous. It is marvellous. Right then. So as you can see, Ed and I have uh, installed the, the new Genlex in their respective places. The base bin is he's, he's just out of shot down here. Shot down here on yeah. the table, yeah. So what's the next step then, Ed? Well, the next step is, Courtney, the thing we hook up the <laughs> calibration mic into the GLM box, mm -hmm. and then that's what we, we calibrate the room. Bloody marvellous. Let's get on with that then, Ed. Uh, what we're going to do now is set up the software uh, for our system, which is in our case, left, right, and a sub. So, let's get over to the desktop. So what we're going to do now is we're going to drag over in this, as you can see here, we've got um, um, speaker a icon. speaker icon, and we're going to drag the first one into the left position. Now, when you drag, th when you drag the the um, speaker across, you'll notice that the um, indicator on your speaker will change colour. When it when it's orange, it's in the muted state. So it's flashing green now. Yeah, so that means he's active now. And it also gives you a white noise, don't it, Ed? Yeah, you hear, that shows you can actually hear the movement, mm. yeah. So, um, we've already put the... Uh, the GLM, the control GLM controller in the middle, yeah? So we're going to set this up for stereo with sub. And now we've got the sub left. So as you can see, it's already marked out for us sub. And there you go. So now what we're going to do is confirm that layout. And the next thing to do now is to go up into this corner and name this particular ping session, if you like. So we're going to call this demo, aren't we, Ed? Yes. Bloody marvellous. Yeah, I could call it demo. Because we've already pinged it, haven't we? We have. Yeah, we have. And then you get um, a system delay, which if your speakers aren't equally a, um, a distance from yourself, then you have to use this setting here to compensate for that. Right. Um, base management will be global, and here we have at what band you want to cut it. So we're going to from 85, so anything above that these will be, I think that's, that's how it works, isn't it, Ed? These will be taking care yeah, of those. Yeah. And anything under this tick, the, the sub will be um, taking oh, over yeah. those frequencies. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to leave this on 85. And the extended, vest, um, the extended phase, um, we're going to leave to on. Purely because it said do that in the manual. <laughs> Yeah. So, okay. So we've named it. We've set to global, uh, eighty-five um, hertz, uh, analog. We will actually try it some some point. At some point, we'd like to try the digital, try the digital one, yeah. one. Yeah. So now we're going to confirm the group, and now we're going to call this demo. Okay. Now then. So what Ed's going to do now is going to set the mic up and go through the calibration process uh, step by step. Mm -hmm. You're recording now, yeah? Mm -hmm. 
Right guys, I'm sorry for crouching, but I'm, I'm actually going to be out of shot if I don't. But what we're going to do now is, I'm keeping Ian in his seated position. And um, so what we've actually done is, we've set the, both the satellite speakers on the shelf at his ear height and they're pointing, um, they're, they're inverted inward, pointing at his left and, uh, directly at his left and right ear. So what we do now is I've, I've set up this uh, stand and this is the calibration mic that comes with uh, the Genelec system. Um, it's included. I've already plugged it into the GLM control box on a desktop and it comes with a special little fitting. And funny enough, this mic works as pointed, it's not pointed at the speakers, it's pointed straight up perpendicularly 90 degrees. Uh, so well, that's what we have. I've already set him up, as you can see, he's at the, he's set with the top of the mic at Ian's ear level. Now, if I move this, the uh, stand across here, so that I can get the, the stand actually in line with his ears, and then I will now say to Ian, can you move your slide your um, seat away and go away to the back of the room, yeah. and then I will now... You want me to go all the way right, back there? Yeah, because I need to get in here, mm. with that chair as well, because we don't need that, and then I can bring this... Oh, Ian's, uh, Ian's disappeared now, thank you very much. So that was my next point anyway. So now we bring the stand across to the mid position, um, where Ian's head would be, Directly, they're sitting exactly in the middle between both of the satellite speakers. Um, he's now there and he's at air position. So we have the mic set up now. So what we now do, guys, sorry, I'm going to have to crouch right down here because a lot of it is uh, done from the floor. And what, what we recommend is, unless you have any fixings in here or anything in the room that's really impractical to move, um, that's fine, but anything can, can be moved. Like, Ian's went out of the room. If you have if any bodies in the room, obviously the, 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 the calibration will reflect off them and that will be taken into account. So it will give you not a, a full representation of the proper calibration. So Ian's went out of the room to remove his, uh, his person. When we recalibrate, I'm going to have to duck down below the... Um, uh, the level of the, the desktop so that I don't infringe on the calibration. So you'll see me disappearing a few times, guys. There's a couple of steps we do, so it shouldn't take long. Anyway, this is the first step we do. So, as you can see on the screen, we've now got the, uh, the thing all set up, and on the, on the right bottom corner, there's a start calibration and an auto calibration. So, first, first, uh, first protocol is we press on the start calibration. Now, it's brought up a box here, which says um, high background noise level. The background noise measured by the microphone is high. Continue anyway, and you've got a yes or no. Now, actually, the noise isn't that bad, actually, in here, so that could be a super sensitive mic picking up something. But anyway, what we will do is we'll click yes to continue anyway. So this... That's that. So we now will click. It brings a box up now and asks you for to cancel or um, uh, to measure. Now, I'm going to click measure. So I'll have to duck, duck down that, guys, because it's going to put the ping. So here we go. We'll be back in a second. Okay, guys, he's, he's now, as you can see on the screen, he's doing his, anal his uh, analysing of what he's uh, picked up in the room, frequency response. So then we click calibration completed, save the acoustic setting to a group preset, we click save. And then we come down to the bottom here and we confirm auto calc. Auto -calc. So we click on that. And we will then do this calibration again. Select the subwoofer and monitor pair. Okay. So we then say this will be the crossover, uh, the crossfeed uh, satellite and the monitor. So we select 
this one and we select that one and then we do the calibration and then we will click yes again and we will start right popping up again guys see now we have auto phase complete okay and we will uh, confirm the auto phase and that's so it's done as you can see it's come up now on the screen it's calibrated right so Ed's now ping the room and now we can have a look at the individual results you can see it both you can see what the make found in the room so first we'll click on the left speaker yeah and as you can see there if you can explain what's going on here Ed with the red green and um, well blue I'll tell you what they are just let me see what this is guys right Okay, what we, what we have is the red, uh, blue and the green, is uh, the red is for the measurement. So obviously that's the measurement mm. that the calibration is found in your room. That's right. Then the, the blue is marked as a filter sum. So that is the correction that it's going to make mm. to the measurement. Mm -hmm. So if you see, um, the, 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 you've got these peaks in the red of the measurement which found. Mm. So what it's done is the filter sum has reduced those in accordance mm -hmm. and the green one is what the calibration is afterwards and that's your green line that as you can see it's flattened it mostly out. That's right. Now you notice that we haven't got anything below 85 hertz. Yeah. Because that is on the base that's pin. On the sum. Yeah. Now we can have a look at that now can't we Ed? Yeah. There you are. So same thing. Same thing. Yeah. Big, big, big peaks. Um, somewhere between, I don't know, between 50 and 80 hertz. Mm -hmm. um, and what that's done is the filter sum has reduced those frequencies, as you can see. Mm -hmm. And then the green line has left you with the calibration you have, which is that's right. a, more or less like a, a, like a flat, a flat uh, response. That's right, yeah, yeah. It is marvellous. It is marvellous, Ed. And, um... And this is the right speaker, but it'll, it'll look more, more or less the same. It should be more, very, yeah. very similar. Yeah. Very, very similar. In fact, I think you can bring up two at a time, can't yeah. you, Ed? Yeah. Let's see if we can bring up um, the, the right and the left. Oh, maybe not then. I thought you could do it simultaneously. Yeah, maybe, maybe not. Perhaps you can, but uh, there you go. Anyway, very impressive. Very, very impressive. And it, and it took... Two minutes. And it took two minutes. Well, it does, when you start the calibration at first, as I just explained to you guys, it, it, it pings a, a, a frequency from your left, and then it does it from the right, and then you've got a low frequency. And then it does the, it analyzes that, and, and then it offers you the save or cancel. So you save that. And then you re Cal you re uh, calibrate again, you do. and it does the auto phase then. But mm. that's a bit longer because it runs multiple um, frequencies. Mm. Um, you know, probably for a minute or a minute and a half. And then when that stops, you get the the, the, the um, option to save the auto calibration again. And you see, when you confirm that, it, that's you, you're, you're done. You're, you're finished, guys. Mm. But the whole process is about two minutes. Two minutes, yeah. Right, it's time for me first impressions now with the <laughs> these monitors, Ed. Well, this will be good. Yeah, this will be good, yeah. Or it won't. Or it won't. Um, there you go. Right, here we go. So, the the main volume is uh, is, is here, isn't it, Ed? So I'm yes. going to push this up. I'm just going to bring up... No, I can't play too much of all this stuff because obviously we're doing a copyright the copyright, but also you don't want to play it too loud because you don't want your sumpty neighbour... No. Uh, um, you know... So you'd be very, you know, be very considerate and aware of these problems, guys. Unless you've got a dedicated studio and you're in the luxury, you know. Let's have a look. Let's not that put that one on. Let's put um, jaded on by Miley Let, Cyrus. Let's have a, a nice jaded yeah. Miley, Miley Cyrus. Okay. <laughs> I have actually listened to a, quite a few tracks between putting Miley on and uh, and some of the Toto we listened to, didn't we? Uh, Yes, it's it's a different experience, isn't it, Ed? Um, especially the 
precision of the bottom end. I mean, it's um, that's what's gobsmacked me most. Mm. I think when it, when we well when Ian decided to go for this, because let's be honest, he's been using for as he said nineteen twenty years. He's been using Genlec eighty forties, which yeah, are industry yeah. standard, yeah. excellent monitors, and. My opinion on that was the mixes he gets are incredible anyway. And they stand up production wise against any commercials. We've tried them against Miley and, and Abba and other mm. people. But when Ian first bought them, and he was way back, he had the wow factor. Yes, I did. He, he was trying, mm. he was hearing other monitors, and suddenly the guy said, Why don't you try these? Oh, well, okay. And he, and he listened to them, and he, he, walked out, he was gobsmacked. In fact, he walked out of the shop and had to go back to buy them. Well, I, I actually went back to listen to him again. Yeah, and it was woo fight. It was a woo factor. And then I walked out. I still walked out without them because of the price. Well, they, they were they were above the budget you intended originally. Mm -hmm. But two thousand pound, you know. Yeah. Well, I don't know what your 90, budget. Yeah. What, 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 did you, what did I you, didn't have a budget. I just, but you just thought two thousand is a lot of money. I did. Right. Yeah. And I mean, twenty years ago, yeah, of course I was. And he walked away, but at some point he, he dragged his tail back, thinking these are just woo mm. over everything else. Mm. So he bought them. And I think, really, in my secret thoughts in my head, secret, he was expecting yeah. this wow factor, which mm. I personally thought, you know, I'm never going to get that. And I'm not being no. disrespectful to JLX. But they were so good that when you go up a step, as you know, guys, it becomes marginally Minuscule, marginal. Yeah. Even though you start paying thousands and thousands, you only get mm. a couple of percent different. Better. Yeah, you do. Once yeah. you're up there in that league. But I've got to be honest, for me, where the wow factor came from was on the sub, mm. the bottom end, mm. with the sub. The sub, I mean, the bottom end now is, is so tight and defined, mm. and even at low level, you can play really quiet. You st it's, it's, everything's just so full and, and big, mm -hmm. you know? Mm -hmm. So for me, the, the, the wow comes from the sub. But they are great guys. They are they're great. In com in comparison to the to the older ones, in, uh, sitting in here in this room, uh, listening to to our mixes, the 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 the, the older Genlex now at the same volume sound a lot smaller. Yeah. Um, this is like having a nice, full, rich, um, detailed uh, oh, reproduction. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. over the whole of the frequencies yeah. at low volume. You don't need to whack it up. No. It's like Ian said a little while ago, I think he forgot he said, there's a great anal analogy. It's like on a hi-fi system, like pressing the loudness button the loudness on button, yeah. in a hi-fi. You know, when you... Well, if you use people that still have the aficionados and the, the um, what do they call these... Um, audio audio, fi files, audio files, yeah. They all still have hi-fis and stuff. Mm. But it's like that, when you listen at low level, um, you have the, the Munchen thingy effect, don't you? The Fletcher mm. Munchen. But you press the loudness in at low volume and you get this lovely bottom end, the top end. And mm. that. Well, that's what it's like. That's it right. was like having your old general X there and then suddenly you went, pressed a loudness button. Mm. And it was like, oh. I mean, how many uh, watts is this new gear? Oh, it's about 500. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> I'm surprised that the neighbours haven't got the noise abatement society mm, around. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, no, I can't remember. I think, it, I think, I can't remember. I didn't look at the specs, mm. guys. But it's about four, four hundred or four hundred and fifty uh, for the whole thing. You know, mm. with the subs up, it's, it's a lot of power. But having, having said that, if you have got a nice, powerful system and you, you're using it at lower levels... Oh, you've got tons of headroom. Tons of headroom, So there's no yeah. distortion. It's just no. pristine quality. Yeah. yeah. It's like sitting in a Rolls with a massive engine, isn't it, that isn't doing anything that's at right. 50 for 60 miles an hour. That's, you don't hear it. That's you know? right. I was running, uh, jumping in a Mini. Mm. And then and, jumping in a Mini, and yeah. And doing 100 miles an hour and it's like... You know, no, no, yeah. no. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's what it is, yeah. Anyway, guys, I hope you've enjoyed this episode. Well, Please, yeah, it's been quite um, informative for us. It has, yeah. 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 But, um, and I'm thrilled. So, and we're going to we're gonna concentrate more now on, um, on uh, songwriting. Yeah, and um, production. We'll yeah. work and production. We're going to be work, work on our own stuff, yeah. On our own stuff. We're, we're, we're just about completed another song of yeah. Eddie's, and uh, Eddie has... Uh, He's arranged this one himself because I said, look, Ed, you know, take the helm, get on with it. Yeah. And uh, so far it sounds really good. So we'll see you next week, guys. Well, guys, take care. <laughs>